four. They came to see if McDoohan could continue his rise to... Doohan was soon going to find out if the factory's off-season efforts had made the improvements he needed. The situation looked serious for Doohan as the track stayed wet. Rumor Supervising Doohan's bid for victory was Adelaide engineer Jeremy Burgess, who, like his rider, was conscious of the pressure for an All-Australian win. Doohan was precise as he reeled off Friday's fastest laps, three quarters of a second better than Rainey. With the benefit of an engine with more bottom end power, Doohan was comfortable with the Honda, but not the slow riders. As he had been since Friday morning, Mick Doohan proved untouchable in his quest for pole position. Doohan looked in superb control as he completed a series of endurance tests, searching for the right tyre. Like Rainey, Doohan was keeping a close watch on the traffic and slow riders. Back to work the next morning, and Michael Doohan, the 26-year-old Australian, talks to team manager Jerry Burgess, determined to go out and steal pole position from Wayne Rainey. When he left his pit, the temperature was 36 degrees centigrade, but did it worry? Behind inform Suzuki rider Doug Chandler on 31, and the seemingly unstoppable Doohan atop the table with 60 points. Here is the man of the moment in 500cc racing, 26-year-old Queenslander Michael Doohan, taking another pole position on the Rothmans Honda. I'll probably be disappointed if I don't. Chandler was also a massive three seconds clear of Mick Doohan in the rain, and Doohan, of course, was bidding for a fifth consecutive victory for Rothmans Honda. Change at the top of the order, however, another pole position to Rothmans Honda rider Mick Doohan. Onto the track for the first qualifying session, it was no surprise to find that Doohan and the smooth acceleration of the Rothmans Honda were the early pace setters, showing no signs that the defeat by Schwantz would be easily repeated. Doohan's team, led by Australian engineer Jerry Burgess, were hard at work assessing new front tyre and suspension setups, searching for a fifth win from six races. Although claiming disinterest in pole position, Doohan raced to the fastest lap of 1 minute 49.1. Fingers crossed for another pole position was Mick Doohan. But no worries here, the speedy Australian almost a second quicker than his rivals. Setting the pace was Mick Doohan and the Rothmans Honda, 1.5 seconds faster than Rainey. The Honda had a new fairing to improve top speed and Doohan went to 308 kilometres per hour in the speed trap. But 1.4 seconds clear of Rainey was Doohan, claiming his sixth consecutive pole position. Doohan had concentrated on gearbox and suspension changes in a bid to make the Honda accelerate even harder. No doubt on the race, Doohan was going to make it tough for the opposition. The Rothmans Honda rider Mick Doohan and team manager Jerry Burgess have been virtually unbeatable in the first half of the season, winning five races out of seven and holding a commanding 53-point lead in the championship. Doohan is not a big fan of the Assen track and he was working hard to find a front tyre and suspension setup that he found predictable on this fast sweeping track. He took a harmless tumble in practice. In the fastest on Thursday, Doohan started Friday session by running in the engine in his Honda. After three settling in laps, Doohan began to pick up speed, but then the red flag was out and that could only mean a serious problem out on the circuit. He did Australian Michael Doohan was still at Dr Costa's Italian clinic, his crew chief Jeremy Burgess was at Magni... And still a spectator from hospital in Italy was injured Queensland rider Michael Doohan the leader of the World Championship wrapped in plaster to aid the healing process of skin graft. The racing was Rothman's Honda rider and World Championship leader Michael Doohan, who had missed four races through injury. Even so, Doohan still led the championship by 22 points coming into this race, but was still not 100% fit. With a plate and 10 screws in his lower right leg, Doohan had only been walking for a week following skin graft. Friday's qualifying was the first big test for Doohan, who had not ridden a bike for two months. While his right leg had healed strongly, Doohan was weakened from a long period of inactivity and with medical guru Dr Costa keeping a close eye on his patient, Doohan took to the track to regain his racing rhythm. The biggest problem was mobility, Doohan unable to move about on the bike and transfer his weight to aid steering. Rothman's Honda mechanics had altered the position of the right side foot pedal in a bid to prevent Doohan's right leg sliding off. It was a courageous effort for Doohan even to be riding and he qualified 14th, still hopeful of a top 10 finish. Man of the moment at Kyle Army was the still injured Rothmans Honda rider Michael Doohan, making his final bid for World Championship honours, having led the series since the first race in Japan. 
There was no doubting Dewan's courage as he prepared to defend a slender two-point advantage against the late-season charge. Between long hours of physiotherapy, Michael Dewan was doing a superb job aboard the Rothmans Honda. Without full movement of his right ankle, Dewan could not use the rear brake to effectively balance his bike. But even so, he was seventh fastest on Friday, just seven tenths off the pace. The